big week for Southwestern League Baseball, including first place to Temecula Valley on the road at Vista Marietta. I'm Pep Fernandez, and this is the HS Game Time Roundup. The Broncos looking to chase down the Golden Bears in the Southwestern League standings. Temecula Valley went a perfect 5-0 through its first round of league play. We pick it up in the top of the six. Tyler Russell on the bump for the Broncos. Russell wanting strike three on the check swing. Wait for it. He's out. Russell racks up another K. He finished with 11 in the game. Still in the six. Russell gets the swing strike three. And as his dad says, break out the mower. He's mowing through the lineup. Russell closes out the frame with, you guessed it, the K. Russell strikes out the side. Bottom of the sixth. Vista Marietta leading one zip. Tyler Wilson on third. When Jeremy Knapp sends the sack fly to right field, Wilson tags up and scores. Two zip. Broncos on top. Later in the sixth. Freshman phenom Jack Moberg singles through the hole to left. Steven Garrett crosses the plate. And now Vista Marietta leads 3-0 on the Moberg RBI. To the seventh and final frame, T. Russ working on a one-hitter when the Golden Bears, A.J. Sawyer, swats this deep fly to left center field. But look out for Joven Affiner. Makes the great catch at the fence. That ball barely stayed in the yard. But this one does not. The Golden Bears down to their final out when Mitch Kemp, looking like Matt Kemp, goes deep to left and gone. Kemp breaks up the Broncos shutout. To make it Lavalle put a runner on second, which brought the tying run to the plate. But Russell gets the grounder to third, and that'll do it. Vista Marietta knocks off first place to make it Lavalle three to one. The Broncos improved to four and one in the Southwestern League, just one victory back of the Golden Bears. Biggest week of the season. Honestly, uh, I mean, there it's us in Temecula Valley, and you know we're gonna keep battling for that spot. But we're gonna try to come out on top, play hard, and hopefully get on top of the league. And now it's on to Murrieta Valley, where the Nighthawks hosted Great Oak. Time to head down Clinton Keith Road and check out the Wolf Pack and the Nighthawks. Let's go. First inning, the Nighthawks Tyler Wade playing short starts the six-four-three double play and they make it look easy. Great Oak sent Brad Wegman to the hill. He fans Murrieta Valley slugger Kevin Padlow. And then it's Wegman striking out Cody Martin to end the first. Still no score in this one. Great Oak's Eli Lingo slaps the single to the left to get a rally going in the second inning for the Wolfpack. Lingo's had two hits of the game. Lingo's would later score in the inning when Austin Williams grounds out to short, but good enough as the Wolfpack takes the lead 1-0. Bottom of the second, Murrieta Valley looking to answer. But Great Oaks' Tarion Arbit starts the 6-4-3. Double play for the pack. To the third we go. Murrieta Valley's Brett Farmer on the hill for the Nighthawks, and he K's Arbit. But later, Murrieta Valley has something brewing with men aboard. Andrew Hermanson sends the flare to right field. Austin Alexander scores. Two zip Great Oak on top. The Nighthawks would avoid further damage when Aaron Shackelford makes the great play at second, and he starts the 4-6-3 double play to end the threat. Marietta Valley had a long day at the plate thanks to a solid outing from Wegman, a complete game shutout, seven strikeouts for Wegman, and he allowed just five hits. Great Oak wins for nada. I'm Pep Fernandez with the HS Game Time Roundup.